This is a redesigned space at the edge of the historic city center of Sertogenbosch. It's pretty, but it can get crowded here. The intersections all around the new square are terribly unclear. The many cars do not make the crossings any safer. Especially when you can't see those cars coming. Oh yes, let's not forget, there are also buses going through this area. How did the city end up with this crazy public space? Well, it used to be even more terrible. The space was entirely designed for motor traffic. Asphalt, as far as the eye could see. Until 2014, when most of the car lanes were taken out. Just two T-junctions remained, with temporary cycle tracks next to the roads. But the city did not know what to do with the vast central space. A contest for ideas was held, and many solutions were proposed, none of which was ever chosen or executed. Until in 2020, a reconstruction was announced. The old city wall was the inspiration for a park-like redevelopment. Low walls were built where the city wall once stood. The old city gate would be represented by hedges. Several new trees and some greenery appeared. So far, so good. But what about traffic? This is a main cycle route to the south. The designers did not accommodate cycling at all. Worse, they removed the perfectly good cycleways here and here and created shared space on the square, with a very narrow part at the location of the city gate. Ridiculous zigzag corners with two 90 degree angles. Connections to the streets around the square became downright dangerous. Drivers have no clue where to expect people walking and cycling. Predictability is one of the cornerstones of traffic safety. Gone now. Space is very limited, and it is a miracle that things don't go wrong more often. This curb is a terrible hurdle to take. Once perfectly clear crossings have been removed, everybody seems to navigate the square in a different way now, leading to diagonal crossings at unexpected locations. Sight lines are terrible. Conflict is designed in with this shared space. A diagonal crossing for the visually impaired and bollards for which the guidelines were completely ignored. The access to a bridge is dangerously close to the very similar access to these stairs. Poor locally famous TikTok star Lucas did not survive his fall on a moped. The bridge was supposed to be replaced and relocated long ago. A new bridge might have prevented that deadly crash. The bridge is at the end of its lifespan, but it's still there. Too narrow for its many users. The narrow path between those hedges, the mock-up city gate, must be used by everyone who walks or cycles here. Again, leading to conflicts. And then these horrible zigzags, causing near misses is a hedge to indicate the historic waterfront more important than people's safety? Even this scale model shows a better curve in the road that used to be here. The traffic department did complain about the design, but their rightful objections were not considered. This area needs to be improved though, also according to the cyclists union. Local representatives are going to have a serious talk with the new alderman. Did you find this video interesting? Then please like, subscribe and click that notification bell to be informed about my future videos.